Thank you, Ma Madam Chair, Under Secretary General, Madam Director General, uh, Honorable Judge, Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We are very pleased to be co-sponsoring this event today and to have uh, contributed the first spark with a financial contribution to the Office of the High Representative for the LDCs and to IDLO to prepare what appears to be a very promising support program for LDCs aimed at increasing sustainable foreign direct investments in the LDCs and for them to derive greater benefits for their people and economies. I'm neither a lawyer nor an expert of, uh, of trade law, but I'm experienced enough with uh, uh, development policies uh, to understand that the kind of programs that we are discussing today can be of great help uh, in fostering sustainable development uh, uh, in all developing countries, but especially in LDCs. In fact, I want to recall that only two years ago, uh, the UN membership at the third conference on financing for development in Addis Ababa has recognized that mobilization of private sector investment, especially FDIs, is an essential source for financing sus sustainable development. And uh, allow me to say that it was a pleasure uh, to uh, listen to the intervention of um, Director General Manservisi of the European Union because there is a complete uh, uh, community of vision between Italy and uh, the European Union on this. Unfortunately, uh, FDI flows to LDCs uh, remain very low, uh, as the Honorable Judge uh, just uh, recalled us and are highly concentrated in a few countries with the prevalence of the mining and oil sectors. Nonetheless, FDIs can help LDC's economies to diversify, be less dependent on the extractive sector and become more productive, creating jobs and spurring new business ventures at the national and local level. In one word, they can have a very positive impact on poverty eradication and sustainable development. Poor regulation, poorly negotiated contracts may lead to loss of public revenues, foster corruption, cause natural resources overexploitation, and environmental and social degradation. Poorly negotiated contracts can also le easily lead to litigation with serious negative consequences for all the parties involved. On the other side, good and fair regulation and well-crafted contracts are to the advantage of all parties and contribute to uphold the rule of law. Fair contracts are also less likely to lead to conflict than costly litigation in courts. The same is true for international agreements in the areas of uh, investment promotion and protection, the BITs. It is therefore important to provide assistance, training, and capacity building to LDCs, governments, and companies, which may need support to effectively negotiate contracts and agreements. These are the reasons why Italy has decided to promote this initiative, which is also perfectly consistent with our increasing commitment to LDCs' sustainable development in the framework of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. We are very pleased that the legal profession and many law firms have already responded very favorably and are today ready to put their expertise at disposal of the LDCs. We are also pleased that the collaboration of the Office of the High Representative for the LDCs and IDLO has led to the preparation of a program which will be put into operation in the near future. We believe this program can provide a practical contribution to make FDIs work for sustainable development of LDCs, and Italy will continue to support it. We look forward to other donors participating in its implementation and to the legal profession, as well as other relevant experts, to step up and make this program a success. I thank you. Thank you, and uh, I'd like to, uh, to reiterate our, our appreciation uh, to the uh, uh, important partnership and uh, financial support uh, that Italy has, uh, 
uh, has uh, brought, uh, which has enabled uh, this uh, project uh, to move forward. Thank you.